Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now in this video, we are going to look at another arrays medium level question, but it says medium, but it is really easy. So let's understand what it says and then we'll continue with the solution. So the first thing is that we are given the question in a graphical manner. We are given uh, an, an array and we are given an XY coordinated uh, array, okay? So the thing is we have a vertical uh, line okay we have a vertical bars if you will say here and we need to find the maximum widest area between them as as you can see here the widest vertical area between two points okay now we have certain conditions over here the first thing is that no two points okay we have to find between two points such that no points are inside the area what that means is that we the, the those two points with the maximum width no other point should be between them okay it should be continuous okay without any particular uh, extra point in that okay and the another thing is that the widest vertical area is the one with the maximum width what does this mean okay so let me show you over here okay let me take an example the first one and we will understand from that 8799 let me write it over here 8799 nine then we have seven four nine seven seven four nine seven okay i'm sorry yeah so what does this mean is that uh, the widest area now if you'll see here this is the x and this is the y uh, let's say this is the x coordinate okay and here it is eight and we have nine over here then we have seven over here okay now um let me bring it down a little yeah so right now uh, the maximum width that we have over here if you will consider then if if you did not look in the in the question correctly then you would say that the maximum width that we have is from 7 to 9 but the condition that we have to follow here is that we have an 8 in between okay so we can't consider that so for that what we'll do here is that we will be needing three conditions we'll be solving this in three steps first of all we are only concerned with the x coordinate okay because the y coordinate does is not actually uh, contributing to the area right now okay so we'll filter it out in a different array and it will look like this eight nine seven nine okay eight nine seven nine okay and after this we'll have to find the differences between each um each uh, continuous values okay what does this mean is that we have to find 9 minus 8 7 minus 9 and so on but if we'll consider here we have 7 minus 9 but just now we saw that 7 minus 9 we cannot use because we have an 8 in between so for that what we'll do is that we will sort this array this new array that we have over here okay doing this we get the perfect continuous array which we can use without having any uh, particular x coordinate between each of them between any two uh, continuous uh, indexes okay x coordinate so now the question is the final thing that we need to find over here is that the uh, width okay so for that what we'll do uh, is that we will difference we'll find the difference between uh, each continuous index okay so 8 minus 7 that is 1 okay 9 minus 8 that is 1 but the maximum is right now 1 so it's going to be remain it's going to remain as it is i'm sorry next we have 9 minus 9 that is 0 but maximum is 1 so this is our final answer and we will return this okay now it is really that easy we just have to do three steps and our task is done so if you have understood this you can start coding by yourself otherwise you can continue to watch the code and compare it with your code okay so right now the first thing is that we need to have a variable to return our result so let me do this okay before that result that is going to be let's say zero right now now we need to filter out our um, x coordinates in a different array so for that i will create a temporary array let's see. and its size is going to be same as the size of our given array points okay and we need to add the values so let me do that zero i less than let's say points dot length okay 
and our temp at index i that is going to be points at i and x coordinate is always going to be at the zeroth index so that's that after this we need to sort this so let me do that and that's it and the next thing is that we need to find the difference okay so for that not zero one i less than okay our result that is going to be maximum of result or else the difference okay so that's it our three steps are done and let me simply return this result and let me submit this so as you can see it's really that simple our task is done only just doing in the three steps now the time complexity over here is that is we go of n log n because the costliest part is the sorting part okay otherwise we are just going through the loop once so we go of n plus we go of n log n plus we go of n okay but the costliest is big of n log n so that's that and that's the time complexity of the whole algorithm that we have created over here so that's it for this video i hope you understood this and learned something new and uh, as you can see the medium level questions could be really really easy okay so do let me know if you have any other problems for me to solve from any other platform i will see you in the next one till then keep coding